Hi guys, welcome back. Let me first start by apologizing for being gone for a little while. Um, I gave birth to my second baby girl on February 11th, and I'm happy to say that she is a healthy, beautiful baby, but needless to say, I've been very occupied with that. Um, I did want to get on though and do a quick video on my eyebrow routine, sort of a tutorial and a review in one. Um, I asked in one of my last videos if you wanted to see an eyebrow tutorial using both the e.l.f. eyebrow kit and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse. These are two products that I've been loving and pretty much the only main products that I use on my brows from day to day. So a lot of you said yes and that is what I'm going to do today. Now as you can see these are my eyebrows naturally. Um, what I normally do is get them threaded every six to eight weeks just to clean up and maintain their shape. And then the rest of the time I just maintain them at home by tweezing and trimming them a little. And I don't do anything fancy. I mean, I just have a regular Revlon tweezer that I've had for many years and I just basically stick to the area below the arch and clean up any stray hairs here and a little bit up top. And then I would say probably like every two weeks I go in and just trim a little bit here because they do tend to get a lot bushier in this area. Now my natural eyebrows are very thick. Um, this is their natural arch. What I do when I get them threaded is I just have her basically thin them out a little bit in this area but I maintain their natural shape and I find that for most people if you stick pretty close to your natural shape it is going to be the most flattering on your face because there's a reason that they are that way on your face and it's also a lot lower maintenance because then you don't have to worry as much about maintaining the shape as frequently. So now to begin the eyebrow tutorial I'm going to tell you a little bit about each product first. I have the e.l.f. eyebrow kit which I discovered about two months ago and fell in love with immediately. Um, I got it in two shades. I have both medium and um, dark. And I will tell you that for me, they both work quite well, though the dark is probably a little bit better match. The only difference that I can really tell in the two shades comes down to the uh, brow gel or brow wax that you see on the right hand side. Um, in the dark shade, which is this one, it's just a slightly darker wax. And the medium shade, as you can tell, is just a little bit lighter. But other than that, the brow powders pretty much look identical. So if you're debating between which shade to get, and you're basically like a really dark blonde to medium brunette, then I would say go with the medium. And if you're a darker brown to black hair, then I would go with the dark. I mean, there's not a major difference, and a lot of it comes down also to how much product and how much pressure you apply. Now, there are two more shades in the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. There is a light shade and an ash shade. Both of those would work better for lighter to medium blondes and fairer complexions. These retail for $3 and they can be found on eyeslipsface.com or I've seen them at Target and some other retailers like Walmart. Um, so they're pretty easy to find. The price is unbeatable, especially for the quality of these products. Now, the second product I have here is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. And I have mine in the color Rich Brown, which I believe is the darkest shade and it comes with 3.4 grams and when you purchase it it also comes with this dual ended eyebrow brush and spoolie which I really love. I think this is a great quality brush set that you're getting with this product but these two together retail for $28 so there is a huge difference between the Tarte and the Elf in terms of price. I would have to say though that they both perform fairly similarly from what I've gathered in using them. So if you're looking to save some money, the eyebrow kit from e.l.f. is definitely the way to go. Um, I wanted to try something new and I love Tarte as a brand. They're a brand that focuses on natural good ingredients for your skin and the quality of their products for me have always been really great. So I think that if you're looking to try something on the higher end or you're willing to shell out the $28, this is definitely one of the higher end products that I would recommend. The Tarte Brow Mousse comes in three shades. They have a taupe which works for lighter brunettes to blondes. They have a medium brown which would cover the middle range of hair colors and skin colors. 
And then the third shade, which is the one I have, is Rich Brown, which definitely would work better for darker brown to black hair. So the main reason I thought that these two would be comparable for review is because they both have a bit of a waxy or gel-like texture to them that helps to hold your hairs in place without having to use a brow gel while depositing pigment. So I think they both accomplish that. I think that the shade ranges are pretty similar and the big difference comes down to price and I wanted to give you an alternative from the drugstore that works just as well as one of my favorite high-end products. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit on my right brow and then I'll do the tart on my left. The e.l.f. eyebrow kit I forgot to show you does come with this little dual-ended brush as well. Although this one is definitely cheaper quality. Um, it has an angled brush which is pretty decent for a drugstore brush. This other side I find to be pretty useless for me. It's just like a fluffy brush that you would use for eyeshadow application. I don't normally gravitate towards this brush when I'm at home for day-to-day -day use, but I think it's a good enough brush that if you are traveling or if you wanna just throw this kit into your bag, um, you don't need to bring another brush with you. I think this would do enough of a job. So the way I use the eyebrow kit is I will just take a angled brow brush. This one is by Anastasia and I'm gonna go into the colored wax product and I just basically take my brush in here and grab a decent amount of it and I'm just gonna to start to fill in the sparse areas of my brows and I'm doing this very light-handed I'm not putting a lot of pressure down because the more pressure you apply the more pigment you're gonna deposit and the darker your brow is going to look and as you might have noticed from some of my past videos I do prefer on me personally a much more natural looking brow I think when you have really dark hair like mine it actually works in your favor to go with a more natural looking brow uh, and even a shade or two lighter than your natural hair color so that they're not competing with each other so I have a lot of sparse areas right in this section of my brow and that's where I'm just gently filling them in and then in terms of the shape when it comes to the shape I focus on the top part of my brows for defining it while staying within my natural uh, brow hairs and then I just extend it the slightest bit at the tip and then come back in and fill in any other sparse areas So the nice thing about this brow wax is it does have some tackiness to it. So when you come back into the kit to grab your brow powder, which I just use the same brush with the wax on it, it's going to adhere to your brows a lot more easily. And it just basically works to help darken them a little more, fill in any more sparseness that you might have. And the combination of the two products I find for my brows is enough to hold them in place. This wax has enough tackiness for my eyebrows that I don't feel like I need to use a brow gel. Now if you have really curly hairs on your brows or just really unruly hair, you may still need to come in with a brow gel to set them in place. So once I'm done filling them in, all I do is take a spoolie and one recommendation I have, this is just off of an old mascara. I think this was like a wet and wild mascara that I never used. And all I do is take these spoolies off mascaras that either I'm done with or that I didn't like, wash them off really well with soap and water, and then they can become your brow or eyelash spoolies. And that way you don't have to go and buy extra. So I take it and I just brush it through the hairs and this is gonna distribute the product a little bit more evenly make it look a little bit more airbrushed and natural and it also helps me see the shape and see if I need to come back in and adjust anything. So that is pretty much it with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit on the right side and this is how it compares to the side that has no product. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the left side with the Tarte Brow Mousse and I'm going to use the brush and spoolie that came with that. Now this product is just a little bit drier in terms of the wax or gel than the e.l.f. eyebrow kit but I find that it works just as well. Now they do say that this is waterproof. I can't really speak to that because I've never worn it in an environment such as a swimming pool where I could really test it out. But what I will say is that I find both of these products last me all day without any issue. If you have really oily skin, 
the Tarte one is probably going to hold up a little better than the e.l.f. Uh, Studio Eyebrow Kit, but if you have normal to dry skin or combination even, where this area of your face is not really oily, then I think you could go with either one. So I'm going to take the angled brush, same thing, just pick up some product on here, pick up a decent amount, and then just gently start filling in the area. And this product is even a little lower maintenance than the e.l.f. because there's only one product to go in and use. And it does pretty much the same thing as the e.l.f. product. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you need something really low maintenance, then this would beat e.l.f. a little bit. I find this one is just slightly darker in pigment and so I really have to be light handed when I'm trying to keep my brows looking natural. And again, I focus on defining the top portion of my brows rather than the bottom portion. So as you can tell, before I go ahead and brush and blend this side out, this brow mousse is definitely a little darker in pigmentation on my brows than the e.l.f. And so I really do have to work on blending this one out a little bit more. I also prefer this product when I'm doing a more smoky or dramatic eye because then I can afford to go with a little bit more defined brow. Um, but I do think that this can still be worn day to day. You just have to be really light handed with it. And I am just going to take my spoolie and blend it out. So that is the other side. It is still, even after I blended it out, a little bit darker. But I don't think it's a major difference that you can't go out in public with these two brows being different products. Other than that though, I think that these are both equally great products. At the end of the day, it comes down to how much money you want to spend and also looking at the color range and finding the best match for you. The e.l.f. eyebrow kit has a few more options in it. The Tarte one obviously only has three options. But I do find that the colors tend to be a lot more universally flattering even though they only have three shades. If I had to recommend one to just the everyday consumer, especially if you're starting out with brow products, go ahead and try out the e.l.f. eyebrow kit because you're not investing a lot of money in it. I think the quality is still there. It's a great kit and you have pretty much everything you need if you're traveling. It's nice and sleek. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and the reviews helpful. If you have any questions about either of these two products or any other questions about how I fill my brows in and what I do on a regular basis, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. I promise if you bear with me in a few more weeks, I will come back to doing regular videos. And I am in the meantime going to try to put up a video as often as I can, hopefully once a week, but probably in about a month, I'll go back to my normal routine. Have a good rest of your day, take care, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.